Golden County Sheriff's Office is in mourning after a deputy died in the line of duty. And that deputy's name, Brandon Cunningham. He was shot and killed while responding to a domestic dispute on Saturday night in Hiram. Atlanta News First Blake Devine has been covering this story since the very beginning when we first learned about it last night. Now he's live outside of the house where this all happened. Blake, you're really getting a glimpse right now of the aftermath of this violent encounter. Tori and Carly were out here live in Hiram once again, where a deadly domestic uh, dispute between a husband and wife left a deputy down after two Paulding County Sheriff's officers arrived on scene. They were met immediately with gunfire, and now you can see all the aftermath that unfolded. Bullet holes in the window, the roof ripped off, the garage and front door down. We now know that 30-year-old Deputy Brandon Cunningham was killed, while the wife who was in the domestic dispute. Kim Vu was shot and transported to a nearby hospital. The suspect, Jimmy Atkins, then barricaded himself in the home for several hours as over 100 police officers and SWAT from all over the state of Georgia surrounded this scene. In the end, Atkins ended his own life with what appeared to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Neighbors are still in shock. Hear what they had to say. Cool guy, uh, kept to himself. Did a lot of yard work for himself, um, always waved. So it's very crazy to see that he, you know, he caused this chaotic scene last night, which is very wild to see. It was just shocking, just shocking to see like in front of you. But it is sad that someone lost their life in here last night. The wife, Kim, is still in stable condition at a nearby hospital, and the suspect's brother just got here at the home, and we're going to hear from him a little later tonight at 10. Keep in mind, this is the very first line of duty death for a Paulding County Sheriff's deputy in their entire history. We're live in Hiram, Blake Devine, Atlanta News First. Blake, really getting to see the damage, those battering rams and the forces that police had to use to get into that home. Thank you for that live report.